we're now joined by, by UFC middleweight Brandon Allen. We'll take our first set of questions from Jay Anderson with Kate Cypress. Hey, uh, Brendan, welcome back. This fight feels like it's been a long time coming. So how satisfying is it to finally be in fight week and lined up with Ian Heinz? Uh, it's just another fight. Just got to go out there and uh, do what I can do and get the W. That's all it is for me. Another fight. So I know you say it's another fight, but you were uh, pursuing this one for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I think you were kind of upset that he had dropped out of maybe a past matchup. So um, have you just kind of put that in the past now and you're just kind of just set on, you know, the night itself? It really matters right now. I'm focused on what I need to do. Focus on the task at hand and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else matters. Just focus on right now. With the fight being uh, pushed back when he pulled out originally and you had the uh, short notice uh, fight against Dawkins, um, did that change your mindset going into this in the sense of, did you focus more on yourself just in case it happened again? I always focus on myself. I don't really care about what my opponent's doing. Um, I can't control what they're doing. I can only control what I'm doing. I can only control my preparation. I can't control happen fight night or the outcome or anything like that. I can just control my preparation and that's all I control every fight. And um, I, had, I had the best that I could have. And Ian came out recently in an interview and he said, uh, you, the two of you were at the PI together. You wouldn't make eye contact with him. He read it that you're afraid of him. I mean, you both fight for, for a living. You've signed the contract. So that seems uh, not to be the case, but do you just see that as fight promotion or is he trying to convince himself? Whatever he has to tell himself to uh, sleep at night to get to this fight, whatever he has to put around him to put words in his head, it makes no difference. I'm not scared of a man on this planet whatsoever. The only man that I was scared of was my father, and I'm not scared of him. I have the most respect for any man on this planet. But I'm scared of no man on this planet. I don't care what he thinks. I don't care what he says. I, I don't care. I'm just here for me. I'm here to a check and go home to my girls and to my family. That's all that matters. I could care less what he says or does. All right. Well, best of luck this weekend. We'll take our next set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Kate Cypress. Hey, Brendan. So you're on a great win streak. I was just wondering, do the emotions, does, does the excitement go up? Because, you know, with Ian, this kind of feels like that, you know, that next step up. They're finally, looks like they're giving you the test to see, hey, can this guy really move up our ranks a lot faster? I don't really know. I kind of feel like it's a step down, per se, from the guys I've been fighting as far as talent. But honestly, it's just, like I said, it's just another fight. I, I'm focused on what I need to do. I don't care whatsoever. Whatever he's doing, I don't care of all of the animosity or all the he said, she said stuff that surrounds it. I'm focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's getting my hand raised on Saturday night. People have a lot of emotions when talking about 2020 and everything that's happened, but you've been on a great win streak. You're on a great run. Professionally, it seems like it's all good. How would you sum up your year personally? Good man, my family's healthy. That's all I care about. My family's healthy. I'm blessed. I'm good. Finally, what do you most look forward to displaying in your performance this Saturday? Uh, I'm not looking forward to really displaying anything. I just want to go out there and uh, be the guy that's been in the gym and do what I need to do and be very calculated and take advantage of anything that he, he, he leaves open. I, I just want to capitalize on everything. I want to feel fear in his heart and um, make him second guess things really early. That's, that's my goal every time is just to instill fear, make them second guess. And that's, that's the goal Saturday night, put fear in his heart and uh, make him second guess what, why he's there. Hey, thank you, Brendan. Good luck.
That's all we have for you today, Brandon. Thank you.